Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and the Reckoning DLC is finally upon us. We're going to be looking through all four of the brand new maps that we got with the Reckoning DLC, the first of which is going to be Fracture, which of course is the map that we are on. You look at the mini map itself, it looks like it's going to be kind of a wide map with the domination flags actually being pretty close together. And what I think is pretty interesting is they have this cave all the way here in the back, like what purpose does this cave serve? I really don't know. It kind of reminds me of the Retreat Cave. You know, the cave on retreat, which basically serves as a spawn point for whichever team is spawning over there by the sea flag. I picture that being kind of the purpose of that cave right there. But yes, as we usually do, whenever a new DLC comes out, we're going to be doing map walkthroughs of all of these maps. So those of you guys who haven't purchased the DLC, I can actually see the maps inside now and make an informed decision as to whether or not you would actually like to purchase the DLC. As well as if you play on the PC, maybe you play on the PlayStation. This way, you can actually get a good look at the maps rather than just watching people actually have gameplay on the maps, right? If you watch somebody do gameplay of the map, it's like, oh, you can see the map, but you don't really have an entire understanding of what's going on right there. And right here, whoa, whoa, this must be some of them dynamic elements that they're talking about there. It would appear that part of the map is actually breaking off of the rest of the map. All right, so there's now water down here. Can I'm going to assume we can still go over here. Okay. Okay, so it would appear that partway through the match, you're going to have part of the map actually just break off into the ocean, which is kind of freaky. And if you have vibration on your controller, it's actually vibrating like crazy right now while I'm out here because I think it's trying to signify, yes, this is a very unstable area. And who knows, maybe this will actually end up breaking and end up falling through. But uh, I'm going to assume, I'm just going to test this for science. I'm pretty positive you're going to die if you go in the water. Yes, the water is going to be a death zone, so just keep that in mind. It's going to be one of the dynamic elements of the map itself is that part of it is going to break off off into the ocean and thus if you're caught in that you could probably die so just keep that in mind but here we are spawning over here on the or i'm gonna call us the a side right this is going to be the atlas side now you're gonna have that back cave of course you're gonna have this building right here which primarily is going to serve as a building for you to get on top of they said this map is going to be for medium and long range engagements and thus why i don't believe anyway you can actually get inside any of these buildings yes i don't believe the doors actually open on the buildings over here uh, over on the a side so yes all these buildings are basically serving as platforms in that you're going to be able to get on top of them but you're not going to be able to get inside of them one thing to note is you can't get on top of this middle thing sadly i wish you could i wish you could but there's a barrier there it doesn't allow you to do it so that's basically going to be the a side you have a couple of buildings right these two buildings which are going to be symmetrical and they're going to have of course that little piece of cover there and then this big building here which has three different platforms for you to get on top of that is essentially going to be the a side with the a flag itself of course being right here with some nice cover you actually have of course this cover right here you can actually get behind Wherever you would call this thing, this uh, <laughs> snowmobile vehicle thing, which looks like it would actually be very fun to drive. I'm not even going to lie. Just look at the wheels on this thing. It looks like it'd be very fun to drive. Looks like you'd be pretty safe. And it looks like it could probably plow through a lot of snow. But uh, yeah, that is essentially going to be the A side. Now, can we get inside here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Is this supposed to be some kind of evil giant sea creature? Those look like multiple eyeballs. That looks like a claw in some way. Is that supposed to be like a Kraken? Like, 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 why is this here? I'm very confused. This thing's like really creepy looking. I didn't even notice that. It looks like a giant creepy fossil of some kind. What if it comes alive and like eats everybody? Wait a minute. What do we have over here? What is this supposed to be? Is that supposed to be like another part of it? I think this is like supposed to be some kind of like evil giant sea creature. Uh, maybe fossilized. But yeah, that looks really, really cool. Let's head towards the middle of the map here and get an idea of what the B flag is going to be like. So B... Holy crap, B is not going to be fun to capture on this map. <laughs> it is very open. It is very, very open. I'm going to assume you can try and hide behind this. But if you picture, like, the domination flag on solar, right? You picture solar where B is, like, really out in the open and people try and lay inside the tunnel on solar to try and capture it sneakily. I think that you're going to have that same thing happening here where the only real cover you're going to have is going to be, like, right, right there. Or, perhaps you're on the other end, it's going to be, like, right here. Yeah, that looks like it's, it might be kind of hard to actually capture. But who knows? Just keep that in mind. Try and get into those corners and you may actually be able to capture B relatively easily. There's going to be a little bit of cover points here, but for the most part, the B area is going to be very, very, very open. Then, of course, you have this building down here, which is going to be part of this side path. You look at the main map here. This is basically the bottom path, which will take you from A, and you could use this to go all the way over there towards the C flag if you would like, or you could use it to actually cut into the middle into the B flag. So that's kind of interesting. Can we actually get on top of this thing, I wonder? 
No, why would you not let me up that? Why would you not let me just climb up that? That'd be so cool. That would be so cool if you could get up there. But yeah, the B side doesn't not hold out really to it, really. I mean, the map is pretty simplistic so far, which I gotta say I'm actually a fan of. There's not a bunch of buildings for people to be, you know, bobbing and weaving in and out. You know, all the buildings are actually closed, and the buildings basically just serve as platforms, which I actually think is a really good thing. I, I think it's a really good design strategy, because no one likes getting shot from windows. Nobody likes, you know dying to things like that you you'd much rather have it so you know you actually know where your opponent is and it relies on gun skill and map position rather than somebody trying to take you by surprise i think that's a pretty cool thing so let's go check out the rest of the map i suppose let's head over here towards the sea flag this is i'm going to assume going to be where the sentinels actually spawn you never know what teams they're going to be but yeah the sentinels are going to be right here spawning on the seaside atlas is going to spawn on the a side at least initially and this is going to be their building now actually we actually have a building we can get into this is the only building so far that i've noticed anyway that you can actually get inside of which has its own little back platform here which you can go all the way around it would appear and of course you can actually get up on top of it very similar to what you can do over on the a side and yes this is where we actually came from right here the, that's the stairway here we are on top of the roof we have this little building which um, oh wow you can actually get inside this little thing okay i got a little computer here which you can break, confirmed. You can break it. And you have... Uh, this is supposed to be a coffee maker. No, it's not. It looks like a coffee maker, but I think it's supposed to be like... Um, uh, what in the world is the name of that thing? Basically, you know, the things where you like the, the, the telescopes, but you, you zoom in on them. I think they have a different name. Yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I've been in high school. Just keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, it's basically going to be that. And yeah, the map itself actually looks pretty... pretty it's simple. I really like this map from its simplicity. I'm, of course, yet to actually play it in the multiplayer whenever I do these map walkthroughs. I'm yet to ever actually uh, play the map in the multiplayer. I do like a live first impressions of the map itself. And so far, I think I really like this map. I think I'm going to really enjoy playing on it because it looks like it's going to be very simple and very open. And I think that's the thing I'm most excited for is it's going to be a pretty open map, which we don't really have too much of that in Call of Duty anymore. And it's going to be fairly simple in that there's not going to be people bobbing and weaving in and out of buildings. There's not going to be people camping inside of windows and stuff. Everybody is going to be relatively in the open like right here of course you can crouch a little bit try and get a little bit of a head glitch going on right here you know but like for the most part you're just gonna have it so people are gonna be in the open and we're gonna have to see who's gonna have the better positioning and the better gun skill and that ultimately i think is going to determine who's gonna be the better player now i do think the map itself is supposed to have more dynamic elements but when i do these map walkthroughs just to make sure i'm good on time i usually uh make it so it's unlimited time i usually make it so the domination matches are unlimited time that way i'm not like up against the clock or anything like that while I'm doing my walkthrough of the map and so therefore we only saw one dynamic element and that of course was when part of the map actually broke off into the ocean there so I'm going to assume based on the trailer there's going to be more dynamic elements to this map but we're not actually sure what those are going to be so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to reload this map without unlimited time and we're going to wait and see what the dynamic elements are going to be like I will catch you guys over there So it would appear that is the only dynamic element of the map itself. Now, there may be other dynamic elements to the map that maybe I just didn't trigger them properly, but I'm just sitting here in a private match by myself waiting for the map to kind of do its thing, and it hasn't really done anything. But ladies and gentlemen, it is kind of cool. You do have that little side effect over here where the map itself is going to break off from the rest of it, and certain parts of it actually end up going underwater. So keep that in mind. You're not just going to be entirely safe if you're standing over here on the edge. You're not just going to start floating out towards the ocean. You are, in fact, going to go underwater if you're standing in the wrong area but ladies and gentlemen that is going to be the map fracture and let's continue this on with another map walkthrough welcome back and welcome to overload the second map that we're going to be exploring here with the reckoning dlc overload itself is set in new baghdad it has a very interesting mechanic in that there's going to be these little towers that you can shoot and they're going to do like aoe splash damage to anybody within that area and of course we're also going to be set here in a city first impression here it looks really nice i'm 
seeing a lot of gold. We got some white right there with the sun reflecting off of it. And of course, we have a bit of blue here from the reflection on the windows and stuff. So blue, gold, and white. I like the color palette. It's definitely beautiful. And we also have a little bit of purple and white and pink and stuff like that with the flowers. Definitely liking it so far. I spawned here on the Atlas side. So one's going to assume, since Atlas is going to be spawning here at sea, that the Sentinel team is going to be spawning over there towards the A flag. Now the map itself looks like it's going to be rather big, but it looks like it's also going to have a clustery kind of like inner city kind of uh, urban jungle kind of a feel to it. Just by looking at the mini map itself, you see it looks like there's going to be kind of a uh, kind of a walkway down the middle there, which is probably going to be a long line of sight. Then of course the B flag itself is going to be over there on the left, and then it just looks like everything's going to be very close quarters with a lot of stuff getting in your way. So let's check this out here. We're going to be spawning over here at C initially, and it looks like we have a building here, but let's look at C itself first. So we have this building here, which appears to be the only real cover that C has. Now I do wonder... Let's see real quick. Is there a way to really test this? I'm going to assume that that's not actually glass and that's just kind of like um, you, you'll be able to drop kill streaks through the air. Like for example, you're using a missile strike, you're using anything like that. I'm, I'm assuming you'll be able to go through there and actually land here on C. And I think these are going to be the things that we saw in the trailer that are going to be activating. And what in the world? Yeah, I think these are supposed to be it if I remember right from the trailer. Now. Alright, so they're not blowing up as of yet. All right, so now they're turned on, and one's going to assume if you shoot them. Okay, all right, so yeah, there's going to be like this big purple AoE effect, which of course can actually kill people, which we saw in the trailer. So keep that in mind. I do wonder if it's going to come back or if it stays off permanently. And we actually have a bunch of purple flowers right here, which is pretty cool looking. But yes, the C flag right here. Well, all right, so it appears as it comes back. It makes a very loud sound when it does that. But yes, apparently they're going to come back. And I'm going to assume it's going to be here throughout the entirety of the map. Like, that's pretty interesting. It's definitely going to be a big aspect of the map. We have another one right over there. But the sea flag itself is going to be hidden right here next to this little storefront coffee shop area. And, of course, actually has this little speaker. has a little bit of cover, but not a ton of cover. The sea area itself, as I'm looking at it, doesn't appear to have a whole lot to it besides these elevated platforms right here. Which, of course, this appears to be a dead end. And, yes, yeah, so you have this little, this little elevated position up here. You have this area right here next to the flowers and that thing that will kill me if I shoot at it, I'm assuming. And yeah, so you have a bunch of these flowered areas, these little platforms and such, and that is actually pretty cool looking. I like that. I wonder if you can get on top of that somehow. I must find out. I doubt you can, because it looks like a really high jump. And I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming there's going to be a barrier right there making so we couldn't land on that, but yeah. It appears that is basically going to be the entirety of the sea area. Ooh, with the exception of this little side path. I'm assuming this is going to take us into the building. Yes, this is going to take us into the building right behind sea. So keep this little area in mind here. You just going to put this in the back of your brain, I suppose. Because there is going to be this little flank area that can actually put you behind the sea flag. And probably give you kind of like a real advantage over your opponents. Because... Let's say, for example, your opponents are trying to capture C. You know, typically, if they're over here and they're trying to take C, they're probably going to be hiding behind this thing, looking up in this area, looking over in that area to try and stop people from actually getting to them. And so, thus, if you come out from behind this building and you come up here, you're going to be behind C. You're generally going to have their back to you. I guess probably going to be a good spot for you to be. So just keep that little area in your head. And let's test it. we got to test it for science. Does this kill me? Yes, it does. All right. I just want to make sure it actually kills you if you actually... Uh, Go ahead and shoot at it for yourself. I, w I appear to have spawned here by the B flag, so let's check that out. So again, just kind of give you context as to, where, as to where we're at. Right there is C. You go up here, walk up these stairs, you go right here, and then you have this nice little area right here with another one of these little death things. And then, of course, you're going to have the B flag, which is going to be up here, which reminds me a bit, I would say, of High Rise or Sky Rise, as it's known here in Advanced Warfare. Because up on this elevated platform, there's a little mini helicopter right here, and you do have a little bit of cover in the form of this baggage, and I'm assuming that you're going to have a little bit of cover from the helicopter itself. But yeah, that's going to be the B-Flight. It's definitely in an elevated position. I'm assuming, actually, that this stuff down here is going to kill you. So let's try it for science, right? Try it for science. Let's hover a little bit. Hover a little bit for science. And then fall in. Okay, yeah, so you die if you fall into the water. I, I guess uh, we could all guess that probably. But I just want to test it just to let you guys know for sure here in the video that, uh, yeah, so don't be jumping around too much while you're over here at the B flag because there are ways for you to die. Now, let's just test it real quick, too. Is it possible? Yes, it is certainly possible. 
to, uh, no, I can't jump again. It's certainly possible to fall off that edge as well. So B has a little bit of a death barrier. That's kind of a neat idea. Yeah, I think this would be a fun idea for a map. Picture, like, the B flag being, like, surrounded by, like, a death barrier. And it's just, like, up on a platform, you know? It's, like, on, it's on, like, an island surrounded by, like, lava or something like that. And you have to jump out over to it or something like that. That would be kind of a neat idea for a B flag. And this is kind of, kind of a take on that, I suppose. Because it kind of is surrounded by death you know you can die if you overextend your jump or something like that and land in the water right there you can die if you go into the water anywhere around here so just keep that in mind you follow the map you will die and of course you have this thing right here which i'm going to assume isn't going to reach the people on the b flag they can definitely hit the people that are on their way to the b flag so just keep that thing in mind it is going to be positioned right there so we're going to continue around here towards the a flag and of course we still have this entire center right here which we didn't really explore plus we have this building so let's walk down this real quick this is going to be essentially just a long pathway, which is going to have this, which of course is the thing that we saw in the trailer. We saw this actually blow up in the trailer and actually kill some people from there. But this is going to take us all the way back here to the sea flag. You can go down this alleyway right here, which will take you all the way over to the other end of the map. And it's going to put you right next to the A flag. So keep that in mind. There's going to be what appears to be two buildings here. There's going to be a building right there. Wow! Okay, I think turn back on. I thought it was blowing up on me. And it's going to come over here. And this thing is going to take you over there towards the B flag. So just to kind of give you guys an idea here, you go through this building. It'll take you right outside of uh, B. And you go back in. And you can take the building. And it's going to take you right up here next to C, right? So this is going to be that building. And, of course, there's also going to be a side entrance over here. And it's going to take you into this uh, big middle area, right? Everyone got that so far? Everyone got that? This map is definitely a little bit more confusing than the last map, but uh, it's definitely not the most confusing map ever. So you go into here, it's going to be probably the same idea. It's going to take you to this outer edge here, which we haven't really looked at yet. We'll get to that here in towards the end of the video, I suppose. And the other end is going to take you out here towards the A flag. So once we're going to assume people are teams are going to cap the A flag, then they're probably going to run right in here towards the middle building, and they're going to come in here. And then right here is probably where you're going to engage the enemy. Kind of a, kind of a good strategy. I would say, and of course, this is coming from somebody that's never actually played on this map yet, in the multiplayer, you cap A, you run through, you come up here, and then you come out here, then bam, blow that thing up if it is turned on. Now, keep in mind, it's not going to be turned on initially. It's, it's going to wait a little bit uh, after the map actually loads in for it to actually turn on. So just keep that in mind. And what in the world is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be art? I think that's supposed to be art. But, <laughs> but yeah, so that's going to be that building, all right? Now let's actually go and take a peek over here towards the A side because we haven't really looked at that so much. So we have a fountain over here, which looks very awesome. Look at the pretty fountain, ladies and gentlemen. This is next gen right here. You even got the little flowers in the water there, which are going to be falling off the edge and landing down there and then continuing on. Beautiful area. Beautiful area. The A flag itself is going to... Why is the A flag next to this thing, man? That's the only flag here where if you're on the A flag and somebody shoots that, they are going to be able to kill it. So, kind of a strategy. This is something I'm just thinking of before actually even playing this map yet in the multiplayer. If these things are turned on and you want to capture A, blow it up yourself before going in there. That way your opponents will have the opportunity to blow it up while you're capturing the flag. So keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. There's going to be this building here behind A. Very nice looking building. Very, very nice indeed. I definitely like the way this building looks. You come outside here. You're going to have these little, this little stairway. And then you're going to have, like I, I suppose, a little elevated area. Kind of similar to what we had over on the C flag. And, of course, this is actually going to take you up here towards the B flag. And we, of course, looked at the B flag a lot earlier. So that's going to be this side of the map. Okay. I, I think I'm understanding it. Can I get up there? I think that's one of the big things I'm wondering right now. Oh, no, why would you not let me in there? Why can't they just allow you to be in this, like, little sniper campy area? That's all I want. That's all I want. I just wanted to get up there. That's all I really wanted. And then... <laughs> Well, come over here, check out this building. I'm assuming this is going to be a dead end. Yeah, it's going to be a dead end, similar to what we had at the C flag. I'm going to assume this is going to be used as a spawn point. But it's also very bright in here. I like it. Very nice looking. Very, very nice looking. So, yes, I think we've seen almost all there is to see on the map, with the exception that we haven't really looked at this little side area all too much. And this side area is going to entail this building. All right, so you got another one of these little coffee tea maker things. And, of course, you have a bunch of speakers and a bunch of equipment because they're actually having, like, a festival right now, which is kind of the theme of the map. And you can, of course, get up on top of here. Now, if I can get up here, am I allowed up here? Why am I not allowed up there, man? Ah, oh, they should totally allow you up there. That'd be so cool. Of course, you will die if you fall into this water. I don't think I need to test that again. We do have boats moving out there. Uh, outside of the map a little bit, so that's kind of neat, that's kind of neat, but yeah, I think we've seen almost all that there is to see 
here on this map. So that's pretty cool. I like this map a lot. Actually, here we have this little area, which is going to blow up and can't kill you. But that's also going to be the little side area of C. So you see my skull right there? That's exactly where I died. You come over here. All right. And, and that's the thing I just blew up to kill myself with. And here you are. Now, a little, little strategy, you can, of course, with the power of exosuits, you can, of course, actually get over this stuff without actually having to cross certain ways, so maybe there's a, a remote turret or anything like that in your way, you can, in fact, actually do this and just, you know, jump your way across. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the map overload. Once again, this is going to be the layout of the map itself. It's kind of congested, but it's really not too confusing. Just remember this. There's going to be uh, an alleyway going down the middle. There's going to be buildings on either side, which will take you to either side of the map. And aside from that, there's going to be like a giant circle around the perimeter of the map with a line going down the middle. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really a simple map overall. It just looks like it's going to be confusing, but really it isn't if you actually explore the map just once, maybe play a couple of map games on it in the multiplayer. I think you'll get the layout of this map pretty easily. It doesn't seem to be very confusing. I think the biggest aspect of whether or not this is going to be a good map is going to be these things. I can picture them being kind of fun, right? They can be kind of fun. They can be also very annoying, but ultimately they could also become kind of irrelevant, although I'm not entirely sure how they're going to be irrelevant because they are everywhere in the map. Like you picture the map sideshow and and the bombs that come out of the sign, the little clown sign on Sideshow that you can use to blow up your opponents. Like, initially, we all thought that was going to be like a big deal. Like, it's going to be like the return of grenade launchers and noob tubes and stuff. But really, people don't even use them, right? It's just a part of the map where people don't even try and pick them up. They're just like, yeah, whatever. Just avoid the bombs and you'll be good. And I'm wondering if this map is going to be the same. But, of course, we'll have to actually see. And, again, I don't actually know yet because I like to do live first impression walkthroughs of the maps whenever a new DLC comes out. So, I'm yet to actually play these maps and the multiplayer yet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude this video where we looked at the map's overload as well as the map fracture. And stay tuned for the next video where we will be covering the map's swarm as well as quarantine as part of the Reckoning DLC. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.